guys and welcome back to Secrets of Tennis. My name is Karina Ward and today I will be showing you how to run a high school tennis practice with the girls varsity team. So the way we're going to start our practice is with drill number one, um, which is a jog around the two courts and a dynamic stretch warm up. It's better to use dynamic stretching when warming up rather than static because it gets the blood moving and the temperature rising in your muscles and it mimics the movement of when you're playing a sport. girls moving. So drill A for footwork is placing two cones about two feet to the right and to the left of the center mark. And then you're going to run around in front of the cone on the right side and then side step back to the middle and then around the cone using little steps on the left side and then back to the center mark. And the girls are going to do that for 20 seconds and then a little break and rotate. They're going to do this exercise two times each. Footwork exercise B. Um, the girls are going to put the cones two feet into the court now. So now they're moving diagonally in a triangle. So they're going to move up to the cone, this time on the outside of the cone, mimic the shot with the forehand or backhand, and then sidestep with small steps around the cone back to the middle, split step, and then do the same thing on the left hand side. On this one, the girls are using the cones as their markers and they're going to shuffle the feet up, up, back, back, whether they're on the service line or on the baseline. This requires quick feet and it gets your glutes, your quads, and your calves to fire very fast, getting you ready for the point. on to footwork exercise D. This is our last footwork exercise for the warm-up. Here the girls are spread out on the double sideline and they start by doing split steps for 20 seconds. So feet together and then a split step, getting low, feet apart. This mimics like they're going to return the ball or if they're playing out a point and ready to hit a ground stroke, as well as when they come to the net and they're about to ball. finished with our footwork drills and we're going to start by working our reaction muscles. So we're moving on to drill number three, reaction drill A. Here the girls partner up with a partner and we have one person tossing the ball and the other person is standing about three feet from them and they're catching the ball without letting it bounce as fast as they can. Reaction drill B. Here we have the same partner take three steps back and this time the girls who are catching the ball are turned around and facing the other way. The partner tosses it and then says go. So at that point the girl turns around and has to let the ball only bounce one time before they catch it. Now 
Now we're moving on to reaction drill C. Here we have a really fun exercise where the girls are going to use the handball walls and they're facing the wall and the same partner tosses the ball from behind them so they don't see where the toss is going but once it hits the wall they have to try to catch it in the air. Now we're moving on to exercise four, and that is drills and actually hitting the ball. So we start off slow. We start with the girls of the service line. They split step, do a spin to kind of throw off their reaction and footwork. And then when they get set up, they hit a nice and easy forehand or backhand to warm up. on to 4B. Here the girls are on the baseline, they're already warmed up and they're hitting the ball for their offensive shots. We start off with four hands, the girls hit two shots and then rotate to the end of the line. After that basket we do a basket of backhands. Here they're practicing both their inside in and inside out backhands as well as their regular backhands. Now we're moving on to 4C, and in this drill the girls are working on their volleys. So again, they have partner. The partner tosses the ball, and the volley should hit an offensive volley, and the partner should catch it before the ball bounces. So now they're warming up their volleys. Last but not least, in drills, the girls need to warm up their serves. So we get out two baskets and we have six girls serving on each court. The girls have targets, so they're trying to serve to the opponent's backhand side. And they are serving from both singles and doubles position. Now we're moving on to drill number five, which is live ball hitting. So here the girls play a game called bump ups where they are playing a point on half the court, doubles alleys are considered in, and they play the, a game up to five. The first person to get to five yells out game, and then after that, if you were winning, you rotate half a court up, and then if you were losing, you rotate half a court down. The girls who are not playing on this game are rotating on the wall, and then they rotate in and out when their turn comes. Now we move on to live ball hitting B, which is using everything we've already worked on today and tying it in together. So we have a person serving, we have a person returning, trying to get the return cross court, and we have a volleyer who's trying to poach that ball. So the goal here is for the person returning to hit the ball well enough cross court so that the person at the net doesn't get a chance to poach it. Drill number six, which is live ball match play. 
Here I have some of the girls playing singles matches and some of the girls playing doubles matches, getting each other ready for tomorrow's big game. Now that we finished doing our matches, we're moving on to drill number seven, which is uh, we get together, we do some planks and sit-ups, so working on our abs and fitness. And then we're gonna do a spider drill where the girls run, grab a ball, and put it on their racket. And we do a little competition to see which team can do first. After that, we stretch and warm down and do our tiger tear. So that is essentially how I run a girls high school tennis practice. As you can see, it's more of a progression from just warm up, stretching, to firing up our feet, firing up our reaction skills, starting with some live uh, drills, and then live hitting, of course finishing up with match play and conditioning. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you again for joining us at Secrets of Tennis, and we hope you subscribe. We have many more fun videos coming your way. Thank you so much. My name is Karina Ward. Bye. Game, set the match.